And hello. I should unpause the game, huh? Hello, everybody. And there welcome we back to Tales. I don't remember where we were. Tales of the Tempest in Desert City. We're in we're in Lamor. Oh, right. oh, we're right. in Lamor. Yes, right. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're in the heart of the plot. Hello, Eleven. Hello. I, I don't know if those were supposed to be exclamation marks, but no, yeah, no, it's Eleven now. My name is Eleven. I'm a YA protagonist. I have a dark backstory about why my name is Eleven. Oh, here we go. Oh, right, we do voices. Is this a library? We may be able to find records of what happened here in the past. Lord Tilkus, I believe this is worth a thorough investigation. Agreed. Let's divide up and search. Okay. So we're just we're just looking in a library. I love to search in a library. We got to have Ooh. a library searching scene. Who's the mystery? You got to do it. You got to oh, do it. Oh, I got to do it. Oh it's my your god. Turn. Okay. Hmm. 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 Give us give us a mystery voice. It, who knows? Maybe it's a character we already know. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the gamble. Don't waste your time. Oh fuck. That was Batman. He Batman really kept it, us waiting. Batman inhaled some helium, but it's gone. Now. He was doing a he was he was trying to throw you off. He was doing poppers. Uh, I was worried you'd all gone and collapsed in the desert. You too. I'd hoped we'd seen the last of you. We've been waiting for you. We need you to stay on track. What? There's nothing left here. Church carted off anything of value ages ago. Everything was presented to his holiness. Uh, what? What is the law of life? You must have found that answer here, right? Aria. Are you really asking that for the sake of your new companions? Don't answer my question with a question. What is his holiness planning to do with the law of life? Just what is the law of life in the first place? The answer is simple. His holiness laments what this world has become. This pitiful world in which humans, like and ogres continue to fight amongst each other. That's why his holiness will call the souls of the lost back to this world. The change of chains of hatred that bind us will be severed. Even if it means sacrificing the Limornian people, innocent Limornians have been hunted down and tortured for their patience. And you dare to speak of world peace. What arrogance. It is not arrogance when the law of life comes to fruition. The Lycanth will be restored to life with the rest. Even this ruined Limornian capital will be restored. The Lycanth hunt is a necessary but temporary evil of the greater good. Have you lost your mind? You can't possibly believe such nonsense. Uh, you mustn't be close, so close-minded. Uh, His Holiness is quite serious about his plan in the first place. What exactly is arrogant about hunting down animals? Oh, back the souls of the lost. You take lives like they mean nothing. You have no right to say that. That's not possible. No matter how bad you want them to, the dead won't come back. Uh, the Lycanth are the ones who act like lives mean nothing. The Natwicks were killed by a Lycanth, your father, if I'm not mistaken. In the end, your father intended to kill you too. And you're no different. You enjoyed reverting to your animal instincts. 
You fought like an animal, rending flies, crushing bone, and you enjoyed it. You look so happy. You're wrong. I don't remember anything like that. Uh, your father was the same. He looked quite satisfied when he killed the Natwicks. Stop it! Liar! Dad didn't touch them. It was all you. All of it. Stop it! Stop. If you aren't convinced, there is proof of Lycanth's disregard for life. Take a look at that patient you have. That is composed of actual Lycanth souls. What? Let me tell you about the patient you got from the Royal Knight. It contains the lives of tens of thousands of Lycanth. Tens, tens of thousands? That isn't possible. It certainly isn't possible with our current technology. But it was possible a century ago. The Beast War began as a civil war between Lycanth. And at the heart of it all was the Lymorian Prime Minister, Colbert. Surrounded by the rebel forces, his only hope was to respond with powerful precepts. But to invoke such power, an unequivocal catalyst was necessary. Colbert chose to use his own people as that catalyst. Their souls, torn from their bodies, crystallized. The patient you now hold is the result. Betrayed by one of their own, the empty shells of the civilians and the citizens turned to stone. Is that really true? I impossible. Do you finally understand? Uh, the madness all started with your ancestors. Who could be blamed for using what they left behind? His holiness and his mercy is offering to revive even those dead Lycanth. I do hope you understand that. Liar! Stop lying to us! Caius's father would never have killed my parents. The Lymonians would never have sacrificed their own for a patient. Tell us the truth. What now? Do you intend to kill me? Rubia, don't. Sorry. But today, you face me. Out of my way. Okay, there's so much to talk about here, but I yeah. just want to say in yeah. response to Fed's comment, Breeze Board Office Worker Voice <laughs> Choice for this character is really paying off. Yeah, if I'd known that Rami was going to be like the most racist motherfucker alive, I don't know if I would have gone with this voice, but I do think now that it's, it's happened, I think it works. It works so well. Um, remember the buttons. Yeah, you gotta remember. Um, also... Yeah. I am so curious... Uh -huh. ...whether anything that they said is true! It's, it's all a lie. They absolutely- like, they- they started out... I mean, I don't I wanna know, believe you! Right. I wanna believe like, you! They so- like, in the same breath, they said, like... Pius killed, uh, Rubia's parents. Like, yeah, but they were also setting up a difference between uh, Lucius and uh, and Rami, in which Rami is the one who's like lying and awful and evil, and Lucius like genuinely believes or whatever the fuck. Um, so I'm I'm I think maybe they're doing something like that. Um, but I truly have no I I don't fucking know whether they're lying or not. It's either way. Obviously, this bullshit is bullshit and not justified, but like, you know, I'm just thinking about the fact, when did this game come out? Uh, mm, I think 2006 is what we figured out. Something around Yeah, that. 2006, which is like, politically, if we're talking, I, I don't know specifically what politically we're looking at in Japan, mm. Um, mm, but politically, internationally, we are okay. like... I mean, the Clone Wars t cartoon, <laughs> which is so much about 
our frame examining of the Iraq War comes out around the yeah. same time. Um, and like this idea that the justification for this war is that it originally started as a civil conflict because right. of a dictatorial leader. And so when we, as good Christians, came in to, you know, uh, resolve the situation, blah, blah, blah. Like, that uh -huh. is... I, I don't know if that's what they're doing. I don't know if that's what they're playing with. I don't know if they're, like, trying to think politically about the world. But it's, it's difficult to not think politically around, uh, around the time. Like, uh... When did the Iraq War start? It was like, not, not around. It was 2003. So this is like three years after Iraq War starts. This this game is coming out. So, at the very least, I think a Western player of this game, who would have been extremely rare because it did not come to the West very much, I think their mind probably would have been thinking about that. And I'm curious if there is a relationship there, or of if there were particular Japanese political was there or if it's just in you know kind of basic plot line of a jrpg you know i mean killing it kill, doing the apocalypse in order to i don't know basically like revive the world or whatever mm -hmm. that's just like i don't know forget it like i feel like that is a common trope? Question mark. I don't. I, it's, I've definitely like seen it, it a hundred times. I'm trying to think of one other thing ever that I've seen it in and failing. Fair. I. I. I it is like. I mean, it's it's in that classic, I think, tradition of like, we're doing this horrible thing, but it's for a good purpose, and like, is it right. worth it? Blah blah blah. But it has kind of this added tension here of. They want to also be telling a story about racial hatred and marginalization you know right. and as a part of that what they've set up is there is a well our justification for intervening in this situation and imposing our own will on the world is that the dictator of this you know particularly marginalized nation was being horrible to its own citizen his own citizens so we're actually totally justified in whatever we want to do but that's like the evil people. It is. It is the evil people. But they're they're already starting to set up. Uh, again, I'm really curious how this is going to end because they could go two directions. But mm -hmm. the way that they're starting to frame the character of Lucius specifically, as well as like Arya's weird, what the fuck is she believing in? Whose side is she fucking on? <laughs> Bullshit is like. I am curious what that framing is, what they're going, where they're going to go with that framing, you know? Yeah. No, All right. I guess this is, I don't have a helmet anymore. <clears throat> that face, Caius? What's, what's the meaning of this? Lucaius, who the hell are you? There's no need for you to know. You are all quite powerful. I suppose we won't be taking your patient by force, but that no longer matters. Where's Rubia? What did you do with Rubia? We will be taking care of her. If you want her back, we'll be taking that patient of yours. When you have made your decision, bring the patient to East Gate. I know you would never abandon her and run away. Damn it, give Rubia back. We'll be waiting. Do you just think that's his dad? Um, probably, right? Some shit like that. I just no. want to say, I called it. I fucking called that she was gonna fucking get kidnapped or captured by the evil guys. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna play into her, like, complicated feelings about Caius being Limornian. I called it. Also, Fenner in the chat says, Ari justifying by Lamornian ruler being a villain, how very CIA of the anime pope. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Extremely CIA behavior. Anime pope. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm a hostage, right? Why aren't you looking me up? Uh. 
Oh wait, Fire? this is me. I thought I thought this was uh, the other person for some reason. No, sorry. Is... I yeah, thought this was good. office worker. Because that is no way to treat a lady. While you are here, consider yourself my guest. Of course, we can't allow you to go outside. If I can't leave, then this might as well be a prison. I'm sure the face under that mask is just as cold as the mask itself. If that's how you choose to think, think of me, so be it. There is one thing I don't understand, though. Why do you travel with those Lycan? They are terrifying beasts. They attack humans. They could well destroy the world. How can you travel with them like it's normal? I don't see why I should tell you anything. I could ask you the same. How can you be part of that horrible heretic hunt? I hunt the lion. Serve his holiness. So you have no problem killing people if the Pope tells you to? That's right. I will obey his every order. There is no one else who can as he. His love for the people is boundless. And I already told you before. The lion will be revived by the law of life. All people and races will live in perfect harmony. If I must cover my hands in innocent blood for that purpose, I do it gladly. You're being a, you're being a fucking fool. The Pope is just using you. Don't act like you understand. No one is using me. I submit to his holiness of my own free will. His holiness would save the world with the law of life. That is why we must obtain the patience. And so I will continue the light hand hunt. Even if you want to save the world, even if everyone will come back to life, you can never justify killing innocent humans and Lymonians. The two of you killed my parents, and I will never forgive you for that. I did not see your parents pass away. I was told it was the work of the Lycan. That's a lie. I'm not going to let you trick me. I think this is you. Probably. He's telling the truth. Me, who originally told this lie. <laughs> Your parents were killed by the Lycanth. <laughs> Thank you, Fen. Liar! I asked you before, but why would we, as members of the church, want to harm a priest? It was the Lycanth boy that told you otherwise, wasn't it? You saw him transform into a beast, didn't you? Terrifying. Both the bodies and hearts of Lycanth transform. Once they transform, they lose all reason. They will indiscriminately attack anyone and anything nearby. Stop it. That boy Caius attacked his own father. You heard, didn't you? Believe us. We fight for the sake of the church. Stop it! No more! I don't understand. I don't know what to believe anymore. Sometimes even I question myself. I question if what I'm doing right now is really the right thing. His Holiness said that sacrifices must be made for the greater good that he seeks. But can we really create a better world by sacrificing the like him? I was sure of this about five minutes ago, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> I really don't know the answer. Then why do you keep doing it? Are you really satisfied with that? I pity you. How can you continue to sin without ever trying to come to terms with it? All I can do is believe. His holiness needs me. You can understand the strength of the bond that connects us. Nor can Caius. Caius? What's Caius have to do with this? Caius's shadow. The fuck? Bloody hell does that mean? <laughs> I am the night. <laughs> and Caius is the day. 
This went on longer than I intended. The conversation will have to end here. Your companion should be here with the patient soon. As long as we get the patient, you're all free to go. We are members of the church. You can trust us. I don't think that's fucking true. <laughs> Father. Mother. What should I do? What can I believe? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine being told in the span of like one or two days a lie by someone you, you like hate versus the person you grew up with? I know. It's wild. Ugh. Bias, have you made your decision? Yeah. I'll give it to them. I'll give them the patient. Is that really okay? Yeah, I can't abandon Rubia. We'll take the patient back from the Pope ourselves. That's true. Even if they have the patient, we can still prevent the law of life. As long as you don't give up, I'm with you to the end. What bothers me most is Luki is Lucius's face. He looked almost identical to Caius. Caius, do you have any thoughts on the matter? No. I was just as surprised as you guys. Just who is he? It does bother me, but right now we need to save Rubia, right? Let's go, Caius. Yeah. Let's go save Rubia. We had a little campfire about it first, though. Yeah, we just had to set some fire. Nothing calms our group like burning. Okay, so are we just done here? Is that was that the whole thing? Are we just gonna leave? Are they still here, or they go somewhere else? I don't know. It would have been cool for something in the game to tell you that. Yeah. This door is shut tight unless we find a key. I think we have to come back here. We're not getting we through here. Okay. All right, great. Um, I think we have to go back to the Pope. That seems possible. That's um, terrible. Yeah, that I don't really possible. know where to go from here. I think you should try leaving the city and see what happens. Yeah, that's Also, fair. yes, Rubia, there are four lights. Uh, I feel like the writing with Ru uh, is for Fenrir. I feel like the writing with Rubia questioning what's true would hit better if it was evidence that Rubia and Caius grew up in a culture racist against Limornians, like them being racist about trolls. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, it just feels very contrived. It doesn't feel like a, a natural evolution of the character. Mm -hmm. Also, just no one gives a shit about trolls. Yeah. Or sorry, ogres. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a cutscene. I'm truly not sure. I mean, it was a tiny place, and they said come to the Pope, and we know where the Pope is, so I'm gonna go to the Pope. Did they say um, to go where the Pope is? Well, um, not Lucaius. Do you want me to well, look it up, just so it saves us, like, a tra travel through the desert? Uh, sure. I feel 90% confident in this choice. Because, like, they were like, ah, yes. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Arya needs heal. Like, BP. Um. They mentioned, like, the Pope, like, a lot. Like, there's, like, we're gonna give it to the Oh. Pope. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay, hang on. So, Arya, are you not going to do the thing I asked you to do? So, yes. so, so, Claire? Uh huh. You need to go back to Lightmourne. Alright. That's... That's all I'm gonna say. Uh... Alright. If that's true, then I will figure it out. Thanks for recovering me right at the end when it didn't work. Are you? Grave. I see. Amazing. Oh. I'll just send them to their grave. Wait, never mind. Nope, you don't. Hang on, I've read on. <laughs> uh, you are not going to... You are... Oh, God. Okay, I see. 
So, you, uh... you are not going back to Lymorn, and you are also... I mean, do you want me to tell you where you're going? Uh... No. no. Okay, you're going somewhere. Okay. So I'm not going to Lymorn, and I'm not going to... The Pope. Um... I could go back to the... City. What was in that little city, like... Oh, do you remember the one that's, like, uh, southwest? Um, there was a boat that wasn't operating, um... Oh, and right. that was about it. I feel like um, maybe the boat is a fast travel point for this exact reason. That's my assumption. Or we go north, and I have no idea what north is. <laughs> The that. north, so what I know is the the kind of upper, the the north uh, west one is Eastgate. The uh, the north, or wait, I guess, uh, yeah, the northwest one is Eastgate. The southwest one is that town that had the boat. And then the north one we haven't been to yet. Okay. Which province should I go to? I will not say, due oh. to the fact that I know which which one you're supposed to go to. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Oh, you want to know? I don't care about the, like, I'll figure out the city or town or whatever, but I don't know. Should I go to, which one of these three dots should I go towards? You should go towards Eastgate. Uh, that's the middle one? That is the middle one. Okay. All right, back to back to that way. God damn it! I knew it wasn't gonna be as direct, but I was hopeful. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I hope y'all brought mons. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. Two minutes. I have no idea if it's like two minutes or like Pokemon steps. I have no clue. Well, still got a battle. Huh. I feel like I'm bad at blocking right now. It's been a it's been a week, you know. Yeah, I feel like I was good last week. Simply, I need to like stop playing for three weeks every time. Yeah, exactly. Also, that was so much Lucaius. My mm -hmm. Caius voice. I can do. Wait. I just said those names out loud, and I just mm -hmm. realized this is terrible. I hate this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I realized it as you said it, too. Yeah, uh-huh. Fuck. How did we miss that? Um, Because I haven't said Lucius' Luca name out much, and I thought it was Lucius. I also thought K. it was, like, Lucius or something. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was Lucius. Saying out loud, that doesn't make sense. Because of Lugia. It's because of Lugia. <laughs> yeah, it's Lugia. Lugia. Um, Fen says these birds are like dodos crossed with chocobos. Uh, that's cho dodos. Uh, that's what they're called right. now. Do Those are cho dodos. Mm, disagree. I want to return on the dodo. Do dodobo? Cho dodo? Oh, cho cho dobo. Okay. Cho dodo. No, it's cho dodo. Okay. It's cho cabo and. Dodo. Or, as yeah. Fen says, Dochados. <laughs> None of these are good, but, you no. know. I I pick Dodobo. That's my pick. Or Dodokobo. Dodokobo. Yeah. No, it sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain.
I don't like the world maps. Why? Because it has no effective way of showing you elevation, which is mo one of the more important things about figuring out mm. your route. No, why would you say that? Well, it just feels like that would be something that would um, uh, help influence your yeah influence your gameplay in a particular way. I'm not an expert, mm. but I just I just get a vibe, you know. Knowing where you're supposed to go makes you go in a certain direction. Uh, mm -hmm. The less Chocobo's rhythm, the worse it sounds. Hmm. Yeah, that seems right. Cause yeah. yeah. To me, Dochido's is really close to Dosido. Yeah, whereas Chodido's feels like either a, a racist term or a oh, no. horny thing. Mm. That just does not sound good. I got a new thing. Leap into the air and smash the ground, damaging surrounding enemies. That sounds great. Yeah, it sounds fun. It's not like you uh, don't have space for it. That's true. Yeah, um, add it. I kind okay. of want to change, because this is leap into the air. What about this press strike? Mm. Uh, that's lift into the air. Ugh, two things that go into the air. How am I supposed to keep that? I want the up B for those, obviously. Um. Okay. This is going on side, and this is going on. Wait, that one. Forest is like the only other character I play sometimes, so I feel like it slightly matters with Forest. No one else really. Yeah, totally. Um, I have a feeling I, that I can't go the way that I want to go here. That's also the feeling I'm getting, but hopefully you can like find a way to get where you I can just run. Get to... Sorry? You could also, like, pop a repel. I could. <laughs> repel. Yeah. Um, I guess this way is faster. I could. Mm -hmm. How do I even know it's, like, expired? Oh, I couldn't use it. I think we're still, we still have it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Damn, so this is with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tilkis, did you have something you wanted to talk about? Now this is Tails. Uh-huh. Rubia. And sleep. You need to rest while you can. I know, but... You're worried about Rubia, right? Of course I'm not. Well, maybe a little. I never thought something would get to me like this. You spent your whole life with the other by your side. Sometimes that makes it hard to recognize your own feelings until you're apart. I'm sure Rubia is longing to see you right now, too. You really think so? I do. Whenever Rubia and I would talk, it would always be about you. That shows just how much she cares for you. That's why you need to save her. If anyone can do it, you can. Thanks, Tilkus. Rubia is like a little sister to me. We're gonna save her no matter what. Yeah. I wish this was a game where they said, I'm sure Rubia is longing to see you just as much right now. Away. And then they cut to Rubia. <laughs> Going, fuck you, you fucking pigs. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm uh, <laughs> just like going the fuck off. Wow. Rubia this is hits. my version of this game. Uh, I'm sure all Ruby is thinking about is how much she wants to see you, Caius. Yeah. How dare you motherfuckers kill my parents and then lie to me about it? I, I'm done. I'm done with fighting combat in this game.
eventually you are gonna get under leveled. I just want to mm. warn you. Yeah, I just want to be not in the desert anymore. That's really my thing. Is he walks so slow in the desert, and you can't That's see super anything. Fair. Oh god, do I? I have to go up, don't I? See, the thing is, I can't tilt the camera up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Ugh, yeah, I have to walk. While you're in hell, thing. can I do a can I do a quick PSA? Sure. Great. Um, uh, since we're playing a DS game, just want to remind everyone that the 3DS and Wii U eShops are going down, uh, in like four days. So, oh, uh, if you have games you want to buy digitally on the 3DS, you need to buy them before March 27th. Uh, that huh. includes any of the virtual console games or any other games digitally. Um, and uh, I don't think you can get Tales of the Tempest, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> no. Sorry to say it, because it's a DS game. But uh, just a heads up, hey, if you want to do that, um, it's hard to kind of, it's kind of hard to add funds, but it, there's like guides online that will show you how to do it. Um, they're, they like have been slowly killing the 3DS. But I've been playing Pokemon Crystal on the Virtual Console on it, and it's very fun. Uh, if annoying, and uh, at the end of it, you can get a Celebi, so that's cool. And just wanted to, just wanted to, just hey, if you want anything on your old 3DSs? Get them now, because <laughs> yeah. Um, or you can just jailbreak them or whatever. Sorry. You can just jailbreak it or whatever. Oh, you totally can. I mean, like this is I'm talking legitimately, you know. Mm. Um. Because we only ever play games legitimately, Claire. Yeah. We would never true. use an emulator or anything like that. That's true. Yeah, no. This is being played on a DS as this, we... This is playing... This, yep. Mm -hmm. This is a DS. So playing on a Nintendo DS. This is right from the eShop. Uh, Claire, what color is the DS this is being played on? Pain. <laughs> Pass it to Lucas. <laughs> I trust you brought the patient. Yeah. I've got it right here. Now keep your promise and give Rubia back. Psst. The patient. And part way up the hill by yourself. Should not trust this shit, Caius. Yeah, this is amateur hour. Oh, great. We just... You gave the patient great. to Rami. That's awesome. This is a wonderful patient. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder how many Lycan souls this holds. Damn you. We gave you the patient. Give Rubia back. Oh, I suck. I can't come back. What are you talking about, Rubia? I just don't know what to believe anymore. I can't come back. Rubia? What the hell did you do to Rubia? We didn't do anything. She came to this conclusion on her own. She realized what terrifying beasts like can't are. She realized who, what that really means. That's right. It's you. She realized that you are terrifying like him. Me? Because of me? Unfortunately, it appears she doesn't want to go. Thank you for the patience. You're all free to go. Because I'm a Limornian, Rubia won't come back. Rubia, is it really my fault? Because I'm a Limornian? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just too British. <laughs> it's fine. If that's really what you think, that's fine. What's this light? What's happening? Is that pendant a patient too? Shoot, they're resonating. We'll be taking that patient as well. Not a chance. This is a memento of my mom. I'll never let you have it. 
Uh, don't make us repeat ourselves, I can't. You said you'd let everyone go if they gave you the patient. Was that a lie? We didn't know we had- they had two of them. LIAR! Everyone, run! Obnoxious brat. Let's kill them and take that patient. And then we'll send you to meet your parents. Just stay quiet. So, it was you that killed them. Wow. I don't know shocking. why that was the thing that cued me into that. <laughs> but it was. What a stupid girl. Must run in the family. Jesus Christ. I'm not the stupid one because I am just choosing to confirm for you that uh -huh. uh, I betrayed yeah. you. Uh -huh. That's the smart thing to do. How dare you lie to me! Wait. You don't stand a chance against her alone. Don't throw your life away. Lucaius, stay the hell away from her. Uh, I'd worry about myself if I were you. Now, I will, uh, give me that patient. Rami, stop. This is mine. My lighter half, my day of my day. I just want to say. Uh huh. I called it. What? What did you call? I called Rubia. I believe I called. Oh I, right, the Rubia thing. Rubia I you were is going to get kidnapped, and that's going right. to change her worldview, and she's going to want to, <laughs> you know, stay there because she's complicated now. She doesn't know how to feel about Kaius. Right. She's kind of yeah. scared of Kaius. Uh huh. And. Yeah, I did not call the stuff around Lucaius and Caius, but, you know. Yeah. I also, ah, ah, I kind of called that Lucaius was, like, being framed as the, the morally more correct one. But I guess that's around, mm, is it, that's is what they were saying of, true. But that's, like, kind of true, like, <laughs> yeah. or at least what the game thinks is true. Like, Lucaius mm -hmm. is like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't... Okay, I guess we'll so... see whether he was lying or not. Or just wrong. I bet... Wait. I think he was... Either he was wrong or... Yeah. Because I don't think he was hey, actively, Arya, intentionally doing? lying. Either he's wrong or he's right. Fuck out of there, Arya. Um... My theories are Lucaius is uh, either Caius's father or... Evil future self. I think it's an evil twin situation. I think it's an evil twin situation too, which is kind of mm -hmm. fucked up of their parents to like um, name them Caius and Lucaius. Like, are they going to talk crisis? about separating them? Oh, that um, too. That like, I yeah, think they that's parent an extra them. layer of fucked up. Yeah, they did parent trap them. Um, but yeah, they also named them like the same. Like the same. Yeah. I'm curious what their names are in Japanese. Mmm. That's great. That's a great question. Technically, I don't think this game ever got like an official English translation. No, this is a fan translation to my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Which is why it was so hard to find. I mean, buy from the eShop. Yeah, there was no official English translation, but they did post the fan one <laughs> on the eShop for you to download yeah. on the DS when you're playing it on right now. Yeah. Yeah. And there we go. Is Rami actually dead this How many times do I have to kill them in order to, for them to stay dead? Are they cast She's never going to die. Nine lives? Right, that's fair. Um, also, Fenrir, back to the Tales wiki for me. It feels like that's like going back to the mines. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go back into the tales mines. <laughs> Gotta find some lore. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry. Worthless worms. When the gate opens. Damn it. Oh. Thanks, you managed to push Rami that far. We could use strength like yours. Will you join us? I'll handle things with His Holiness personally. 
Are you crazy? You killed my dad and Rubia's parents. I'll never join you. That's right. No matter what, we'll never join you. I was prepared to, like a second ago. But now I'm really committed. Yeah, yeah. Even seeing this. You saw this like- oh wait, no, I guess she was gone the last time this happened. Yeah, she did not see it earlier, she just heard him say that Caius is a shadow or whatever. Um... He looks just like Caius. What is this? Who the hell are you? Younger- I'm your younger brother. Yes. I'm going through puberty sooner. No, no way! I wanted to go through puberty. I'm not just going to believe something like that out of the blue. You were left with mom while I stayed with dad. We were separated almost from birth. You're lying. You're lying, right? I can tell you know I'm telling the truth. I can't believe Lucius is Caius' brother. But he did say something like, I am Caius' shadow. I never could have imagined this. Let me say it once again. Cops. Me. And your voice too will drop. <laughs> Even if the lightning at once ends. The persecution never will. That's why we have to use the law of life to save the light camp. I already said I don't believe you. You can cut the crap about being my little brother. You're a Limornian too, aren't you? It seems our path already diverged beyond reconciliation. It's a shame we couldn't come to an understanding. Wait, are you running away again? Damn it. How do I drop my voice? That's right, <laughs> Rubia. So that was weird. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. I'm all right. Thank goodness you're okay. Rubia, don't try to push yourself too hard. Caius was really worried about you. Couldn't sit still. Forrest, you don't have to tell her that. Everyone, I'm so sorry for worrying you. Thank you, Caius. I was so confused. Oh, whatever. Not like it's the first time I've had to save a stu the stubborn princess. Well, excuse me <laughs> for being such a stubborn princess. But I'd say I'm still more reliable than you are. Yes, you I nearly betrayed you. joined the enemy. What are you fucking talking well, about, That's supposed to make me not reliable. <laughs> I'm reliable. I'm, I'm reliable for whoever I am aligned with at that given time, which is whoever told me the story that intrinsically is most convincing to me in that moment, as defined by the writer's room, which does not know how to write women characters. <laughs> whoever talked to you last, right. Got it. Yeah, right. I always think things through before I jump in. Like any of your thoughts are going to do any good. My goodness, as soon as she's safe, the fighting starts. You two are so cute together. Dear brother, don't tease me like that. By the way, I overheard those two talking when I was captured. They still need to gather a lot more patience. We managed to keep this one safe for now. Oh, I just missed, I just completely... But even without it, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thank you. What is Lucius really after? That's the real question. The appearance of the spots doesn't seem to have deterred him. The law of life grants power over death. Can it really be used to save the world? Save the world? It's ridiculous. Just look at what they've done. Hard to imagine they want to save the world when more people die from spot attacks every day. I'm worried about the law of life itself. Why does His Holiness know about such a closely guarded Limornian secret? There's only one way to find out. It's not necessarily hidden, but the village I was raised in is north- is in- Wow. The village I was raised in is north of here. North of here? In Algem? Yes. There's a small village within the forest. Oh my god. 
Its name is Sansa. The eight Lymorians that set out for Janon 14 years ago were from Sansa. Sansa. Of the north? Sansa in the is... frigid place? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, uh -huh. please. Yeah. No, the forest in... Yeah, the forest. The tropical forest. Anyways. San Sansa is in the heart of the forest. It's a... Fr well, it's a frigid... It's a frigid place, and ogres are ever present, which is fine, because we get along with them and don't worry about it. The plot will agree with me. That's why the church and the knights haven't moved against it. Because we have such good friendship. Yeah, uh-huh. So you think someone there might know something about the law of life? What about the Pope? Shouldn't we be going to stop him? And Lucius too? I understand you're worried about Lucius. Not only is he your brother, he's a Limornian just like us. And yet he himself has captured many Limornians who now suffer. Why? Why would he go so far to aid the Pope in his pursuit for the law of life? To find that answer, we must first we first need to go to Sansa, right? I'm with Forrest on this one. If we learn more about the Law of Life, we might learn of some way to put a stop to it, too. What do you say, Caius? No, the game is done. Let's go home. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Let's go to Forest's village. Off we go, then. Okay, so we're going to see Sansa in the frigid north to see Forest's forest right. town. Uh, eight other Limornians. All eight of them. So that we can, so that we can get Caius, right, at, to help eventually, hopefully save Lou Caius, Somehow, his younger brother. For some reason, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get the sense Forrest is happy to be returning home. Remember, he left everything behind when he fled his homeland. What do you mean? After the Janet incident, he barely escaped to Senshibia with his life. When he escaped, there were other survivors, but he didn't have time to think any about anyone but himself. It still feels like he left them to die. Part of why we came to Arella was to lay the past to rest. For him, the Janna incident hasn't ended yet. This is going to be a bittersweet homecoming. No doubt. A man with no home. Okay, great. We really have to okay. take a... Yeah, we have break. to take our break, like, immediately. Uh, back in a few minutes to discuss... All that shit. Yeah, there's so much that happened. We'll be right back. Bye. Uh-huh. Hello. 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 So that was... Okay, so... There's um, so much we need to There's so much about. that just happened in that cutscene. I know it went oh. to break, but I just need to say... First of all, first thing that I want to say is... Um, thank you, Where do we go? Fen, for looking oh, up what north. their names are in Japanese. Oh, I yeah. love the fact that it's. Oh, it's um. Kaisu and Rukaisu. Yeah, which is like better, you know, <laughs> but still is that general thing. I mean, they translated it well. Oh wait, no, I think. it's I U and A I U. I don't know how I, just I U is it. Rukiusu. 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 I think it is. And. Kaiusu? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's, you know. Rukiusu. 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 Um, so that's great. I don't know where the Sek rising and falling is in that name, but yeah. Rukiusu. Um, and I just want to say, so many of our voices have paid off incredibly. Oh, no. uh, obviously, Rami being having the most like dull office worker voice and being an unhinged uh racist piece of shit is is fun that's anime um that's anime but also uh caius the older brother having voice cracks not gone through puberty and <laughs> luke caius being the younger brother batman the Fucking younger batman. brother oh my god um also, Rubia's inherent Britishness coming out where The only she... British person ever in this entire world. Yeah, just inherent Britishness coming out where she's like, 
I don't know. The fascists are kind of making some points, though. <laughs> like, I'm just, I just don't know what to believe anymore. I just want to yeah. have a debate, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, I just want to think about both sides for a second, you know? I like, I, I just want... think maybe the Limornians are transitioning too early. Like, I'm just <laughs> saying, what's the evidence, the data to back Gosh. up? Like, these guys are saying there's no data, and I, I, I'm not going to Google it. So, <laughs> who's, who's correct? Who really, who could say? Who knows what's true? Uh, uh, anyway, uh, we're just getting a lot of payoff from the voices. Um, yeah. Also, like... I was kind of hoping there was some time travel bullshit, though, and it was actually just Lucius from the future who had, like, turned evil, and now we have to, like, undo the timeline or whatever. That's, like, that's too good, JR Claire. That's, that's too good. That's the JRPG shit that I sign up for. That's that's what right. I want. This, this is not that. This is right. this is we have called so many shots. <laughs> this <laughs> game is very clearly setting up. And it's fine. It doesn't have to necessarily go against But it's not that it's just like it's following logically from the characterization or anything like that, which is what I like to see. It's that it's like just incredibly like this is a trope, so we gotta do the trope. And it's obviously they're setting up for this, so they got to do it the most tropey possible way. Yeah, um, it is a bunch of tropes. I uh, huh. Yeah, which Rubia. is fine, and they're not—they're just not that fun tropes. Anyway. Yeah. Rubia, what's wrong? Oh no. Limonians are terrifying monsters. Even though Lucius is a Limonian, that's what he said about them. How have we not gotten past this? Why would he say something like that? Pius has been my friend since we were little kids, and Forrest is a precious companion. I just don't know what to believe anymore. Rubia, are you saying shit about me behind my back? That's it's dangerous to be out here all alone. Pius. What's wrong? That worried expression doesn't suit you. It's when you do exposition by yourself. How rude. Even I worry over stuff sometimes. Did Lucaius say something to you? Yeah. Something you couldn't get out of your head, huh? Caius, can I ask you a question? What did you think when you found out you were a Limonian? Honestly, I couldn't believe it at first. I was like, why? But at the same time, it was also kind of a relief. Why? At the very least, it meant I had a real connection with my dad. The one who raised me, I mean. Dad had something he always used to say to me. No matter how tough things get, you have to face them head on. You can't run from reality. You have to accept whatever life sends your way, and keep on living. Accept whatever life sends your way. Even if I'm a Limornian, it doesn't change the fact that I am Caius Qualls, the first time I've ever said my last name out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never stop being me. I think my dad wanted to tell me to be proud of my Limornian heritage. Forrest taught me the same thing. I'm not saying transforming into a beast isn't terrifying to a human. But you know what, Rubia? I'm still the same Caius. At the very least, I hope you get that. I get, I get it, what you're trying to say. You know, maybe nobody ever told Lucius that. If he really hates the Limorian blood flowing through his veins, that's really sad. I want to tell him it's okay to be proud of who he is. Power Pius. of friendship will save all. Uh-huh. Brotherhood. <laughs> uh, Caius, I think maybe you got a bit cooler while I was gone. What do you mean a bit? I've always been cool. You just never realized it. 
<laughs> Is that right? I seem to remember sitting someone getting locked in our shed and crying. That was when I was a kid. And you were the one who locked me in there in the first place. <laughs> That's true. We've been together all this time. But I still doubted you. I'm sorry, Caius. You better fucking be. Don't worry about it, though. But man, if you're apologizing to me, I bet pigs are gonna fly today. That's just not right. Also, what's a pig? What's that supposed to mean? No, come on. I'm not gonna answer your question. We need to how this sounds up. I feel like I'm doing too many inserts at this point, but it just the the dialogue is unhinged. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Caius. That's right. Even if he's a Lymorny and the Caius I've always known is still right here. Even if humans are afraid of Lycan, I'll believe in my friends. Just like my father believed in Caius' father. Sort of okay. cool. Okay. That's not like the worst. I guess no, like it's fine. It's whatever. Part. It's not the worst resolution of that. Whatever. But also. That was a uh, resolution? I think that's the revolu resolution to the Rubia's racist <sighs> plotline. Um, I do think it's funny that she asked like, what did you think when you found out you were a Limornian? Because I straight up, and this is. Fedver, as Fedver says in the chat, I can't believe y'all picked the bad trans metaphor tales instead of all the other tales that also, of course, have trans plot lines. I <laughs> fully expected her to say something like, have you ever tried not being a Limonian? <laughs> or, are you sure you're a Limonian? Maybe we can look maybe for a cure. Maybe you should get, maybe you should just try living as a human for a bit before becoming a Limonian. Like, I fully expected... So, you know, being a, when you can, once Christ. you claim being Limonians, I've heard it's irreversible. Oh my god. Like, it's just, it's, I did fully expect her to say some shit like that. Um, I guess, like, the part about this that I don't hate, I hate most of it. The part about <laughs> this I don't hate specifically about the question, what did you think when you found out you were Limonian, is like, what she's doing in that moment is trying to speak to Caius, the person right. she's known for her whole life, and trying to Relate. reaffirm her or, like, doubts. Understand, yeah. Right, uh, uh, understand by being like, "This is Caius. This is the 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 kid I've known my whole life, and the one I locked in a shed. <laughs> the one I locked in a shed, and and if he, like, if I am." trying to work out what this means for me and for our friendship and for my beliefs system the per i i i should ask him how he has come right. to terms with it and how he has come to this resolution and that is the thing that that she needs in order to kind of like move forward and stuff i think this plot line is kind of cringe and sucks a little bit but I don't hate that it. as a resolution. She was like, well, you're one of my friends. So I guess since we're friends, you're one of the good line ones. Did she say that something like that? I, no, I, I I'm don't paraphrasing. But she was like, we are friends. Of I mean, I'm just... I feel I, like... I feel like I hate Rubia a little bit. That's fair. My most generous reading of the writing, and I recognize this is a very generous reading, yeah. is that's her going back to this isn't a different person this is still my friend this is still caius because being a limornian <laughs> does not change fundamentally who this person yeah. is to me and all of that stuff right um fan yeah yeah it's fan and yeah agreed fan um yeah i don't know i oh shit. i hated this plot line and it sucked uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> we'll pause. Uh, you need anything? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, ow. Hey, um, can you stop? Can you stop? Ow. Ow. Sucks. 
I'm bird mode. I'm bird mode. You can't hit me. I'm bird mode. Damn. <laughs> can't believe he's getting bird mode. Holy shit. Five hundred. Catch these damage. wings. Catch these wings. <laughs> Catch these wings. Hey, have you heard of my friend? Oh he's my a God. tree. <laughs> His name's Gordon Treven. I'm like him. Uh, this is absolutely how, how so? Zapdos. This is absolutely Zapdos. I just want to say. How, how how is the bird like the tree? Sorry? How is the raven like the writing desk? Oh, um, they're both big. <laughs> and they're both <laughs> single enemies. Right. And they're both here to taunt you until you... Ow. So do you just group everyone who's single together? Yeah, I'm I'm what's called a matchmaker. <laughs> you see a single person and you see profit. Yes, absolutely. In real life too. Um <laughs> Oh, this is actually kind of a pretty map. Uh wait, oh, I which like big this. Bird it's gonna be really annoying when we process. can't find our way around, but it's nice now. Yeah. Oh you know okay, one sec. It's I a forest. Actually, I am just gonna go to field. Mm -hmm. Quickly save. I haven't Makes saved sense. in a while. And I have no idea what I'm going to see in there. And go back to forest. I'm hoping it's just the same enemies as the first forest, but they're God, way stronger right. and covered in snow. Yeah. Time to find out. You're right. I love being correct. Yeah, this is the white wolf instead of the wolf. Again, it's it's the North. It's Game of Thrones, baby. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Caius is king of the North. Uh, no, Caius is very clearly. Actually, who is Caius? Who is who is Caius? I know very a very like medium amount of things about Game of Thrones. Not enough to decide who Caius is, or mm. really who any of these characters are. But. Let's see. Ex I, I actually think Jon Snow is maybe kind of a good analog. Like, doesn't know his father, um, was like taken on as a ward, is like take like given power as like a protagonist. Like, I don't know. There I'm are with a lot you. of through lines. I'm with you, uh, except for the fact that I think Forrest is so overwhelmingly Ned Stark. Are they gonna kill forest well no i just mean in terms of well i guess like he's like ned stark if instead of dying ned stark stark had managed to escape which uh, would make it not game of thrones but right i do think there is like you know he i just feel i just feel like he has that vibe he came down oh to try God. to settle something diplomatically and just fucking <laughs> annihilated his life um he came down from the north to settle something diplomatically, you know? Oh, actually, you know what? That makes him Sansa. He's Sansa. Oh, right. right? Wait. Sa Is that true? She came I... down from the north to try to settle a conflict between peoples diplomatically. And, and in exchange, totally fucked up. they captured her, ruined her life until she managed to somehow escape. And then came back later or i think you know got re-involved later kind of involved? Uh, i don't even for know her i don't even remember what she did at the end uh she became oh uh spoilers i guess for game of thrones no i want to spoil game of thrones so nobody watches it. okay spoilers for game of thrones no no, no. uh right now say spoilers gonna... uh sansa sansa becomes queen of the north What the fuck happens to John? Oh, after he kills Daenerys, he gets exiled. Oh. Past the wall again, I think. Right. Because he killed Daenerys? Sure. That show was bad. Ooh, occasionally nullifies physical damage. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, that's cool. What is Talos with slightly increased defense? I honestly think that is pretty good i think just like sometimes not taking i mean it depends how often that is it's like a one percent or three percent we'll see 
I hope it's more than 3%. 3 percent's like not that bad, honestly, because you get hit real like a lot and it's like a dice roll every single time. Yeah, I'm de it's definitely like not incredibly high. Fair, yeah. Also, yeah, you're totally right, Fenrir. The show really did the whole anime ran out of manga thing. The thing that's most <laughs> interesting to me about like the later seasons of Game of Thrones is that I do actually believe the thing that they have generally said, which is they did generally follow the plans, the outline that George R. R. Martin had for the books um, with the direction that they went in. But I believe that it was extremely general. And also, they kind of cut out all the other things that build that to make it good. Um, yeah. Like, um, you know, the whole vibe of... We're just in spoiler territory now. Sorry uh, to folks. But, um, like, the whole idea of... Again, I have never actually watched the show in its entirety. I'm really talking about my ass here. But this idea that John and Daenerys end up together and end up basically waltzing into accidentally uh, accidental incest um, does actually feel like something that George R. R. Martin would write because it would <laughs> make it would make a it would make a parallel with uh, Cersei and Jaime to be like right Kings is the same. Queens is the same. Um, um, and it was, the, it was like he is her nephew. Nephew. You? Yeah. Is her older brother. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that was it. But yeah, so like that is not especially. That seems pretty realistic. And then like him killing her in the end. You know, it is a again making a parallel with Jamie killing the t the praised Targaryen king, and also Daenerys ending up with some level of Targaryen madness. Uh, I think that these are things that I think were probably in original outlines and drafts, but I think they had a ramp to get to those <laughs> rather right. than two episodes of this eight season tv show or whatever um so like as it turns out if you take an outline oh big boy wow. sorry yeah, just want to say if you take an outline you can take it in many different directions um while still technically following that outline um hey it's me bruce banner <laughs> oh, hi i'm bruce hey, banner these are the ogres that we're friends with Look at these friends of ours. Hey, it's me, Bruce Banner 2. I'm 2 Spanner. Ow. <laughs> They're just sleeping. They're just having a nap. Yeah. We got an onion. Got an onion from them. Ogres are like onions. When did Shrek come out? Sorry, I didn't realize that you could not hear me dramatically leave the Discord. Oh, yeah, no, um, I didn't hear it at all. Shrek came out in 2004. So two years before this game, so this is a direct reference. Actually, wait, did the original Shrek come out in 2001, or is that Shrek 2? Wait, hang on, when did Shrek... Shrek, 2000, oh, Shrek 2 is 2004, Shrek is 2001... Absolutely a reference. One hundred percent a reference. This video game references Shrek. I guess it's good now. I'm just, I'm, I'm I have it. to imagine that's like <laughs> a late, like someone sneaks that in right. near the end of production, and all the rest of them are like, <laughs> "Yeah, keep so this funny." funny. Wow, <laughs> that's so funny. Which kind of only makes, unless they change this somehow and are about to go in this direction. Makes it a little more fucked up because the entire point of Shrek was mm -hmm. people were scared of the ogre and he just wanted to be left alone. Uh huh. Well, and now we're out here killing ogres. Well, I, I, I don't think we're about to be experiencing tales of the Shrek. So, buckle up. 
Mm. Um. Oh, uh, Fen in the chat says, also, I seem to recall that George is more of a pantser than plotter. So question mark and how much he ditch any outline. But also, I don't know anything. I fell off all that on season two. Shrug. Yeah, I do think... To me, I, my understanding of Game of Thrones is that a lot of the appeal is the experiences follow very directly um, from, like, the original, uh, like, to me, the experiences follow very directly, or, like, the appeal follows very directly from what the characters would choose to do. Um like it being it fitting with their characters, which is so much more of a pantser, which is to be clear, that's flying by the seat of your pants in terms of writing. Um, ah, more of a which way is more way, way much yeah, much more of a pantser than a plotter. You know, someone who thing. goes around school and just pantses people. Yeah, no, that's uh, George R. R. Martin. He does it at conventions all the time. If you go see him, uh, he'll like come up to you and he'll be like, "Oh, I'm gonna pants you," and you like think he's joking because like that'd be super a, weird if you were to like get pants by one of the creepy. most. Yeah. important authors and also pretty creepy and like that doesn't really seem to be the vibe that he gives off but no he he goes around and he loves pantsing people it's his favorite thing to do wow this is uh i think i'm gonna get sued for the def defamation for that one but it was worth it we were talking about the other george R. R. martin oh yeah uh he works at the GameStop. sorry gamestop he works at gamestop he works at gamestop yeah yeah um that's what the j stands and... for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fed rare. That's why the guy who takes pics. Oh my god. Yeah. Right. Wait. Okay. We need to move on. We need. We can't get. We can't. There's already so much happening in Tales of the Tempest. We cannot start talking about George R. R. Martin. <laughs> Okay. All right. Everyone, wait. There's an ogre. This o this oh, ogre no. seems different than the others somehow. Indeed. Perhaps this is a leader of sorts. But we have to beat it if we want to pass, right? Ogres are the ancestors of both humans and Lymornians, right? Can't we talk things out? Unfortunately, ogres are merciless to any but their own kind, so I've learned from childhood and never questioned. Damn, it spotted us. Right. Do you think this match is going to end and the ogre will be on its knees and we will also talk it out with this ogre? Um, just like the other bosses. Yeah. <laughs> God. This game really does have to have... Every video game, if they have a plot about the complexity of a relationship between two oh, groups, zero. they have to have a dehumanizable oh, zero, yeah. group. I took zero a third time. Wow, I just got... I, I Damn, that was, you know, good talisman. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, yeah, the idea that, um, the whole thing is about, like, tr trying to show that the Lymornians are, like, being wrongly basically framed for everything, like, mm -hmm. and then we just have this. Yeah. It feels very, um, no, no, these are the real monsters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. No, I thought I killed him for a second. All right, now now we're gonna talk this through with the ogre. We're gonna have a very nice dialogue. Mm. 
you know, the ogre was tired and went back home. Yeah, he just went. He just went back to his just... swamp. Yeah, he was like, he's he's fine. He's fine. He was just he was just uh he was just having, you know, uh, just having a was, bad day. We were just playing. We were playing. Yeah, we were playing. We were just playing. We were playing. And he's gone to sleep now. He's gone to sleep now. Yeah. It seems really quiet here. Is the village abandoned? No, it doesn't seem to be. If it were abandoned, the village would have fallen into disrepair. Forrest, is this Sansa? Yes, it's just as I remember it. I can't see them, but there are people here. They're watching us. This is scary. It's like we're being haunted by a ghost. The people of this village must have good reason to be cautious. Who are you? What do you want? We're not here to cause trouble. We're travelers. Where did you come from? Adelhabeth? We crossed the desert. We have a very good reason for going on this journey. Are you Limornian? Why is a Limornian traveling with humans? How did you know I was Limornian? I can tell from your scent. This is a village of poor Limornians who escaped from the humans. But now that you know we're here, we can't let you leave here alive. Uh, I, I, wait, wait, hear me out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hear me out. Uh, we want to meet with your elder. The fate of the world depends upon it. Like we can trust a human. Then trust me as a fellow Limornian. Please. There's something we absolutely have to find out. You're strange. You smell like one of us, but also like a human. Very I... well. Yeah, you do. Very well. We'll let you meet with the Elder. But you make one wrong move, and you'll regret it. Got it? We understand. We appreciate you hearing us out. This way, follow me. Yeah, as Ferris says, child, we can't let you leave here alive. Battle music starts. I definitely <laughs> thought it was going to be a, like, we're roll for initiative situation. Now. You know? The game was like, oh, you think we're unethical for killing ogres? Let me <laughs> let me show you what we can really do. <laughs> yeah, I know! <laughs> okay, do you want to play the elder? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am the leader of this village. I understand you have something to ask of me. We are in search of the patience created during the Beast War, and we wish to know more about the Law of Life. Your pawns of Arella? Wait, it's because the Pope is after them. If he gets his hands on the patience, this world's in big trouble. The Pope is experimenting with the Law of Life, trying to perfect it. The reason he's arresting Limornians is because he wants to find the patience as well. What a fool. He intends to repeat the mistakes of the past. Is Arella going to meet the same end as Lymorn? Please, tell us, what exactly is the law of life? Lymorn fell a century ago, and with it, the secret arts of the Lymornian people were lost. Our books, our record, and our memories now sleep beneath the sand. All that has been passed down is that there would have been no beast war if not for the law of life. Uh, hey, what does that mean? Isn't the law of life meant to restore life? That is certainly what some claim. However, others claim it is the power to summon life. Summon? 
I may be old, but even I am not intimately familiar with the events of the war. But I can tell you what I learned from others. The Limornians were once a proud, prosperous people. But pride gives birth to arrogance. Limornian tribes fought among each other. We were on the verge of destruction. In the midst of the turmoil, Prime Minister Colbert tried to save the world using a technique he learned from the Traveler. But it was not to be. Our land was reduced to dry sand and lifeless stone. Only the bloody tears of the Limorn people, the Limornian people, remained. That is all I know. A hundred-year-old war is best left forgotten. Nothing good will come of it. The Limornian Prime Minister Kuber. Luke Lucius mentioned him too. He said Gobert made the patience to use the precepts. But well, what we just heard doesn't match up with that. It's like he was lying to us or something. That's weird. Gobert's tried to save the world using a technique he learned from the Traveler. But he failed. And the bloody tears, in other words, the patience remained, right? That means magic. And the light, <laughs> law of life didn't come up at all. The technique Colbert learned from the Traveler is what we call the law of life. Learn from the Traveler? The law of life can save the world? That's exactly what the Pope is saying. But what does it all mean? Just what is the law of life? Those who would answer you should no longer be... Uh, or those who could answer you should no longer be among the living. But the humans must have learned it somewhere. This just keeps getting more complicated. Let's take a break. Good idea. If you don't mind, I'd like to speak with the Elder a bit more. Okay, well, we'll take our leave then. Bye, Forrest. Good luck, bestie. Bye. Uh, yeah, it's the Traveler from Destiny. Um, yeah, yeah. This is actually secretly linked to, to Destiny. <laughs> like, the what, what, what do you even call that kind of game? It's not like an MMO. Yeah, the the, the space game. Yeah, the space game. All right, the bungee game. Yeah, the bungee game is. Bungie yeah, game. it's it has the traveler in it. it. Has the traveler. Yeah, live service something something software as a service game as a service. Anyway. Yeah. You've grown since I last saw you. It has been a long time, after all, sir. Please forgive me. You did what you thought was right. Your timing was mistaken, not your intent. But you're alive. We should be thankful just for that. I haven't returned for over 14 years. Even though I knew my people were being hunted down by the humans, I couldn't return. It has been 14 years. Let it go. Those who survived are living their lives to the fullest, just as you are. I wasn't the only survivor. You didn't know? He was gravely injured, but Thols survived. Thols? You two were always close since you were the same age. Where is he now? He despises humans. Ever since he escaped from Janna, revenge has been his only purpose. Thols has trained himself and gathered young men 
who sympathize with him. They possess considerable power. They intend to travel to Janna and set the city ablaze. Fuck yeah, let's go! Let's do it! I'm gonna join! Hell yeah! Burn it down! <laughs> and while they are Limornians, they cannot help. To defeat the humans with so few. We must have realized he must have realized that 14 years ago. Back then, you traveled to Janna with dreams of reconciling with the humans. You were young, but you never lashed out at humans, did you? Unlike you, those always regretted his inevitable his inability. To strike back these 14 years. Because of his inaction, he watched his companions die. And even now, his people are being hunted. That's not right. You can say that now? Isn't the reason you were able to return here because you now understand that? Indeed. These 14 years, my hatred for the people of Janna knew no bounds. It wasn't until I was able to let go of my hatred that I was finally released from from happened that. From what happened back then? From what happened then? Probably what they meant to say. Yeah. That is how I felt. Forrest, you are not mistaken. However, I cannot tell Thuls that I think he is mistaken either. He has suffered greatly. He has seen so many of his brethren die. But at this rate, they'll have died for nothing. What Thuls is doing will only widen the divide between humans and Limorians. We have to stop him. I cannot do that. Because I, too, regret not punishing the humans when I had the chance. This is sick. This is the best shit so far, is these this village elder who, like, first is like, <laughs> no, we have to stop them. That's not right. That vengeance, it will only make things worse. The elder's like, yeah, but they got it coming. <laughs> this rocks, objectively. Like, I, I'm sure it's going to go bad places with it. This is before it's supposed to be, like, you know, I'm sure one of our moral compasses. But, like... Oh, God. I love that they legitimately were, like... <laughs> oh, yeah. You you think we're supposed to side with the Elder? I mean... I I don't know. I, I think we're supposed to side with Forrest. I think you're right. But I appreciate that they didn't go the route of, like... That falls. He's just crazy, and you know he he doesn't. He wants you know terrible vengeance, and he's even like the people of this community are on his side. You know, like I like that aspect of it, right? Even if we're definitely not <laughs> supposed to side with them, it's not like they're not making it quite as obvious. You know. The people of Sansa know what's up. The people of Sansa know what's up! And I appreciate that they are willing to have the people of Sansa know what's up. Even if they're probably not going to frame it as the people of Sansa know what's up. I feel like this, I feel like this village is going to get burned. Oh, for sure. For sure. But I just want to say I support the people of Sansa. So if that happened, I feel like Forrest would have to concede to their point. That is that seems what like the only that seems conventional like the logic. Right. <laughs> that is what conventional logic and you know and a kind of anything that is how one would think if one had not right. been pushed into an ideology of have being at being peaceful will solve all problems. Right. <laughs> you know? Everyone, I have a request to make. Forrest, what's wrong? Thols, my old friend, he... He intends to attack Janna. 
What? He's gathered a number of young Lymornians together in Lauris. They intend to take the ship to Janna and burn the city to the ground. No way! A small group can't hope to stand up to the knights. Even the knights won't have an easy time against a group of Lymornians, but... Either way, Janna is going to be in chaos. We have to stop them. Humans and Lymornians have no reason to fight. I'm an expert on this. I was racist like <laughs> 10 minutes ago, but now I'm an expert. Uh, what's wrong? I'm also an expert. Sorry, this is just very like racist learns one thing and is now an expert on race. Especially talking to the people that are oppressed. Oh. Uh, I, I, yeah. Let's continue. There's big trouble. Forrest's friend is going to attack Janna. What? I beg you, please help me. He must be stopped. There's no longer any hesitation in your voice. We're with you. Obviously. We'll stop him no matter what. Let's hurry to Loris. Loris is south of here. Once we reach the desert, we need to head southwest. Every <laughs> no one responds to that. Th thank you, Arya, for telling us, the player, what we need to do. I love... Genuinely, <laughs> again, another voice I think has worked out well is... Uh, I gave her a Pokedex um. voice, and she is, in fact, <laughs> always the person who explains the basics um, of the yeah. world and what things mean. <laughs> yeah. She is, our, in fact, our Pokedex. Everyone, oh. thank you. Um, yeah, it's just like Mass Effect Andromeda. I don't remember in what way, but absolutely. Oh, it says, I don't remember the line about the about having Krogan friends, but that bit. Oh, oh yeah, my fuck. best friend is a Krogan. <laughs> like, okay, this one, oh. I, I wish they, I wish they just, I wish they weren't cowards, and I wish they weren't losers, and they were willing to say, they were willing to, like, lean into the objection that someone had that was like, they're not going to be able to kill those knights. Like, they're all going to die. We have to stop them because they're all going to go fucking die. Um, they don't know what they're getting into. I wish that was the only objection rather than, but think about, you know, we need to build connections, build bridges, you know? So now we're going to go murder our kin in order to save. Oh, well, we are going to have to murder him, aren't we? Yeah, and this sucks. Yeah. Unless it's one of those fights where he realizes the error of his ways. Maybe. I always like feel... I keep feeling like this game is... Like, this game is always so muddy. And I always feel like eventually it's going to, like, put oh its God. foot in its mouth super hard. And it has put its foot in its mouth. Don't get me wrong. Right. But, it like... It eating feet. Right. Mm-hmm. But, like... It, it keeps feeling like it's going to make us start killing some Limornians, um, and it hasn't yet. And I'm curious how far uh, along we're going to get before that happens. Like, if we are genuinely about to go and have to kill him, or if they're once again going right up to the line where it would be super messed up and then not, you know? I'm prioritizing armor over damage because we have yeah. okay damage, but like mm -hmm. like 80 more armor. I feel like I always use Arya's. I'm gonna buy Arya's. Yeah. I have so little money. Like I'm actually shocked at how like little money I have. Okay, um, do I have enough to, like, buy anything? Not really. 
Yeah. Maybe I can sell the onions that our friend the ogre gave us. Kindly. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. Amazing audio. Amazing audio. Specifically, that audio is always the one that's like <laughs> so nasty. Oh, look, it's the kid who threatened us. Why are humans and Lymornians traveling together? You don't fight and stuff? Uh, I understand this is like a real big shock to him. It is fun. I do have to imagine the conversations that the people of Sansa are having behind like like in the bar and stuff is like right yeah it's like like i think like there's a you know there's he, one of them's like ha seems oh, like half human half Liborian, and another one is like clearly a catholic priestess <laughs> and 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 i don't even there's think one of them is like from the from you know orel or orella i think I, who the fuck is Forrest hanging out with? <laughs> Where did he- how did he put together this squad? <laughs> yeah. How did- is there no safe spot in this? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to the forest. Yep. You think there's gonna be another ogre? Yep. And uh, I don't know if there's gonna be like a static, uh, yeah, ogre, you know? Be... Yeah. But I do think we are going to get some ogres right now. No, wrong. Goblins. It's on me. Yeah. Which are just people with weird heads. Yeah, but they're goblins, so it's Yeah, fine. so it's fine. I mean, we have killed people. I will say. We have say, murdered people. We have, we have, in fact, murdered humans. Like, like, even if you don't consider ogres to be people, which obviously they are. But, like... We have killed humans. Yeah. Which is why it's extra funny that they're like, no, you can't go burn Janna to the ground. We've killed about equivalent to like <laughs> a city at this of point. Janna? Oh my God. Right, like we've killed a lot of guards. And I understand that's justified. I'm not saying that's not justified. We're of course justified. It's weird to make like a big deal about it when they do it. We've done it. We've been doing it. Uh, these goblins are just out here shoveling the snow off the road with their giant forks. I can't believe y'all just murdered three city workers. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, no. We... Uh, oh, they're God. unionized, though. What the fuck's that gonna do for them? They're dead! I mean... Strong union. Uh, sorry, are you implying that a strong union can bring their workers back from the dead? Yeah, I was always told that a union can get the worker back, right? That's that's what that means. Is that Claire, not what that means? Claire, I I'm starting to think you've misunderstood the concept of like unions. They're not what? No, a union is like when you come together in somebody's basement and you put paint on the floor and you sacrifice a goat and then you chant something. Okay, I see where you've gotten confused. Um, mm -hmm. So, I don't think that's quite how it works. I think what you're thinking of is witchcraft. And I'm not saying there can't be witchcraft unions. Um, and I'm not saying there aren't witchcraft unions. Obviously, of course, of course. But I am saying... Uh, I don't know that there are, I don't know that all unions are made up of witches. Can you prove it? Um, I am in a union, so, um, I just can't directly prove it. Um, right. I don't I mean, think my shop stewards are witches, but... They are both women, so that's not like like a great sign for my argument, um, because as we know, all women are witches. Right. Um, so 
Yeah, uh, but I don't think everyone is. Mm. Um, <laughs> Sarah says, uh, it's like the UK <laughs> cut of Austin Powers, where every time an evil henchman died, it cut to the henchman's family getting a phone call about him dying at the job, <laughs> and like workplace death benefits, you know, unions. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, I forget. I, I don't know if I ever watched the UK cut of Austin Powers. That's an extremely good bit. It's a bummer it's not in all the versions. I didn't know there were different cuts of Austin Powers. I also did not know this. Why is the UK cut different? Did the, did the US say I don't want the, war, the you know... I don't want to sympathize with people I who are antagonists. Like... I bet it had more to do with, like, the pacing, you know, and them oh, being like, probably. oh, you know, the comedy Reed is action. different in the UK and the US, yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah. you know, the the US is not going to hit in the same way that it would for, like, the UK, which is known for its kind of, like... Right. I mean, this joke particular... would require workers to have benefits. No, I meant more in terms of dry comedy. As in, the UK is known for, like, dry comedic bits that don't require, you know the same sense of like you know their UK and US comedy styles are quite different and that is very much more a UK style thing but also um it's probably other factors though I will say I don't my understanding is the UK is not that much better than the US in terms of worker benefits and unions probably not uh, I think they used to be but as we know, so, based on Rubio, Astral Chaser. I thought Ruby was gonna get that one. <laughs> I don't remember how I came up here. I want to fast travel. I want to. I want to be playing a game with fast travel again. Okay, understood. Next time we are going to play a game from 1997, <laughs> uh, which will definitely have fast travel. Uh, that Spain a specific year makes it sound like I know which game we're playing next. I do not. I do not know which game we are playing next. That's not a secret I hint. Do. do not take. Do not take that as a secret hint. I'm not secretly hinting at what we're playing next um or maybe you are and you're lying i don't know am i oh yeah yes thank you fen uh see recent uk metro worker strike and school worker strike yes i believe both of them are in fact striking uh metro i think it was metro if not well maybe it was trains it may have been trains they may have a shared union the like transportation workers so I know it was disrupting the metro, but I also heard it being talked about in terms of trains. Do you think I'm going to be able to go directly south? Like, like from there? Yeah. No. No, I already. Like you can I try. See the answer is no. Actually, I give up. Kai <laughs> is goes it. home. I the law like... of life triggers and everyone dies. That's it. Um, That's it, everyone. Using a repel, though, is like timed in this game, though, so I feel like running when using a repel actually makes sense. That makes sense. Like, if I'm gonna wanna not fight monsters, I should commit to that and not. Yeah. Half halfway. You know? Totally. Be a person of commitment. Run away. The same thing. That is what people of commitment do. Yeah. People of commitment's a very funny term. Um, we need to take our break. Yes. This is true. Alright, well. Back in a few minutes. Yes, back in a few minutes. And then we will be definitely out of this desert. Never for sure, for sure. And we'll never see it ever again. Yep, for sure, Probably. for sure. Okay. Back in a sec.
Herb. Yellow. Yellow. I'm just gonna keep walking in a direct line. This will work. I can always feel works it. out. Yep. See, they can't even reach me. <laughs> Perfection. What a pro strat. Mm hmm. Genius technique. I think this might work. I think it might. I think you're actually. Yeah, you're making headway. We're good. Yeah. Everybody say goodbye to the desert. Say bye bye. Bye, desert. Bye. We will not miss thee. Imagine if they're like, oh, sorry, boat's still stuck. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta go back. You gotta go back. Is that them, Forrest? Tholes. Should I be Tholes since Tholes and Forrest are gonna be talking? Sure, sure. Give me Tholes. Forrest. Forrest, is that you? I'm so glad to see you alive and well, Forrest. Where I escaped Janna, I fled to Senshibia in the west. Senshibia? You've traveled a long way. After the incident, I escaped and managed to wake my babe back to Sansa. Somehow, I've managed to survive thus far. I thank the gods of Lymorn that we need to meet like this again. Indeed. The Elder told me you were still alive. I can't believe it's already been 14 years. <laughs> Who are the humans? The reasons are a bit complicated, but we're traveling together. Don't worry, they're friends. You can trust them. I wonder about that. Lies come so naturally to humans. Souls. But I'll take you at your word and trust them. We've come here because I have something I want to talk to you about. The Elder told me you were planning to attack Janna. I want you to call it off. What are you saying, Forrest? I have no intention of judging your actions, but... We'll gain nothing from continuing the cycle of violence. I, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Have you forgotten what happened 14 years ago? We tried the path of peace, and what happened? They cut down our friends. You saw it too, didn't you? We were so young back then. We still believed in ideals. No one worked harder than we did to find a way to live peacefully alongside the humans. But we were wrong, Forrest. Have you still not realized that after watching your brethren die? Souls, back then I, I felt the same way as you do now, but I no longer do. I'm living alongside humans just like we imagined. Put a stop to the violence. You're so naive, Forrest. Humans aren't like us. One or two of them are gentle. But when they gather in the tens or hundreds, all reason is lost. They don't think twice about slaughtering Lymornians like animals. Forrest, I will not yield. I will carry out the attack. And if you intend to get in my way, I won't spare you either. In that case... Give me a little time. As a request from an old friend, just give me a little time. I'm for what? I will go back to Janna. I will put an end to this. I will make the church end the heretic hunt. As if I could take them at their word. If it comes down to it, I will defeat the Pope myself. We are proof the heretic hunt is meaningless. I swear to you, I will convince the humans. Forrest, if that is really your intention, prove your strength to me. 
Show me you have the power to win over the humans and defeat the Pope. I will test you. Very well. Very well. Let's go, Thols. And then they wrestled on the floor for an hour. They're they they uh, are they are exes. They are they are exes. Your Honor, they're exes. As as, as Fenrir, uh, how doomed for relationship former boyfriends do you think these two are? Uh, one hundred percent. There's no doubt in my mind that these yeah. two were in love once upon a time. I mean, do you remember what happened 14 years ago? He got stood up at the altar. <laughs> it's not quite what happened, but yes, I see. <laughs> Forrest, I see you have lost your edge. You've continued to train yourself even as you pursue the path of peace. Yes. My friends are the ones who taught me to live this way. I see. I believe in you. We will wait here. But know that if you fail, we will attack Janna. Bear that in mind. And just like that, they were quelled until they immediately aren't and become a problem later. Bulls, you have my thanks. God, if... Uh, I, sorry, I just... Before we go on. If this is genuinely how that is resolved, uh, I actually kind of like this. Do you? Listen. I believe that Thol should be allowed to to do this, and I think that the moralizing this game has is weird. Um, oh, like I thought you meant say, if that's how this re is resolved, as if this is the end of it, we never see Thol's again. It if this is the way that Thol's as a problem is resolved, mm. I'm good with that. Yeah. Because, because, uh, you know, I, is it perfect? No, but I can't expect perfect from this game. That's why it's worse for forward. <laughs> uh, and what it does have is, yes, it has like this weird moralizing in which Forrest is like, I'm not going to judge your actions, but judges your <laughs> actions immediately. Right. Uh, I think some of the writing is, is, is weak in that, in that realm. I do like the general concept of, well, first of all, I like the way that these two clearly have like a whole history. <laughs> uh, that's really interesting. Also, game is, game is glitching big time on my end. Yeah, I don't know if sorry. that's- Yeah, sorry. Okay, that's it's all me. good. All good. Um, let's keep talking. <laughs> uh, but I do think it's fun that fundamentally this is you know, being used as an emotional conflict between these two people who clearly care about each other. Um, I wish that the framing was a little more, I don't want you to go there and die because you're all going to die. Um, I wish, again, I wish they were leaning more into that as a reason. Um, right. But I'm, I'm much rather this than Foles comes back later and is like, Actually, I decided I'm so insane, yo, that I need to kill all right. the humans. Thuls like, is Joker. Right. I, I'm glad Thuls is not Joker and that actually what this is, is it is like a meaningful uh, disagreement between two people who know each other very well and have a lot of feelings. Uh, you know? I've been heard and have different approaches. I've been heard and have different approaches, and of course it has to resolve it with a fight. Uh, <laughs> but somehow does... the peaceful one is the correct one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which is very silly. Um, but I understand that because they're cowards, they can't have them kiss about it, so they have to have them fight <laughs> about it. And What's the difference? I don't know. I... This is... I do think this is actually... <laughs> I guess if we're comparing worst foot forward games, I, I, based <laughs> on my memory of our past two games, this is a a better resolution to this sort of plot than either Andromeda or Fable Three had. Did Fable even touch on anything like this? 
I guess not this specifically, right? Yeah, I don't think there was this specifically. More, more Andromeda, I mean, you know? In Andromeda, it's all moralizing, you know? Right, yeah. And usually wrong. Like, yeah, Do you like, remember what the and... line before this was? No idea. Okay, then I'll just, I, I can start us off. Yeah, just start us off. I was just going to say, last thing yeah. that I will say. In Andromeda, it was all moralizing. There was this inherent belief that, like, obviously it's wrong to try and, you know, kill the people who've been trying to kill you. Yeah. Uh, you know, and just all that. Obviously, that's wrong. Uh, whereas in this one, it's like, I understand that we are still playing with and supposed to side with the characters who are like, no, you shouldn't do that. Um, but I think it gives a little bit more respect to those viewpoints than the other games did. With the caveat that the rest of this game is pretty mid to bad about the kind of relationship between Limordians and humans. Yeah, we don't pick My good thoughts. games, I guess. No, I listen, I know we don't <laughs> pick good games. I'm saying, given our comparison pieces, you know? Anyway. Any any thoughts from you, Claire? Um You're free to disagree. I wanna see them kiss? No, I agree with that. I wanna I want them to kiss. I think they should kiss. I think I think it would be okay. I think there are ways this game could have approached Forrest being like, for us to agree with Forrest if it handled other things in a way that made me think that, um, well, maybe this is how this goes. I like, I would love to believe that Forrest is, like, the person who, like, let's give them a chance to talk, but yeah, we're gonna fucking kill them if they take, if they swing, we're gonna take the shot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't, I, I don't know if that's who he is. No. I, I, I yeah, I know, I'm with you, I, I'm with you. I, I think... I think also, like, again, I wish they were leaning more into the, like, more interesting thing than, like, oh my god, you're gonna continue the cycle of violence and everyone's just gonna kill, blah, 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 blah. Because the the example of, revel right. of you know, this thing of, it's, it's right. very d done and done and overdone. And I understand it had not necessarily been as overdone when this game came out. Oh, yeah, because I guess the, not. Because the most effective example of that, uh, trope in like conventional fiction aka the hunger games as we all know um had not come out yet um i'm i'm joking but you know um wait <laughs> what? i'm trying to, did hunger games actually try and do a moral lesson i thought they killed everyone mocking i'm talking about the third hunger games book mocking jay which is all Where about they kill everyone in the capital uh yes i mean it's there were in fact more i've rewatched those movies recently and okay. have been seeing yeah. people talk it's about probably those a books. decade for me so you know you and the, what is actually the moral lesson there is like authoritarianism is a danger no matter who is saying it and a refusal to acknowledge you know there's a, there's a complex thing not always perfect but, but anyway my point is i wish they were leaning more into the like well i don't want them to get killed and they don't know that they're going to go there and just like that because they haven't been to janna uh stuff i wish that was more of the direction they were leaning um yeah i mean but it i get you like yeah i was saying to you i'm 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 going through the book iron widow right now yeah rules um and its relationship with murder and vengeance is the entire other direction. Um, yeah. Almost to a point where it's like, you know, I, I could see like arguments against what the main character believes, but like in the moment, I'm always on her side. Um, yeah. I, I don't I think I'm read there the, with Forrest. Yeah. Having read that book, uh, the murder is like, 
the times that I like that main character best, who I do not yeah. particularly <laughs> enjoy. I'm not so... Really? Yeah, we can talk about that later. Yeah, Because uh, sure. I have very particular thoughts on that book. Yeah. Um, I like a lot of parts of it and other parts I'm like, uh. But the thing that I wanted to say is with the writing this game, whenever... And really, this is, I think, a general thing for Worst Foot Forward. Mm -hmm. If at any point in any of these, you start to think... Uh, you start to have the idea, well, Brianna's really talking this up in a way that I think is really giving it too much credit. You have to understand that my favorite trio of the Star Wars films are the prequels. Because <laughs> I, I, listen, I like you love competent, to salvage trash. Right. I like competent dialogue, but what I like better is vague notions and ideas that I'm interested in. And I just have to ignore the fact that all of the dialogue and writing that is used to get into those uh, ideas is like truly awful. Uh, but God, there's something there that like, mm -hmm. what if, what if I could write it? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I'm going to write it in my head and then I will like it a lot. Right. Um, so that's how you have to understand. That's, that's what I would, I would say about uh, any praise I heap on this. We're going to fix Star Wars and we're going to fix Tales of the Tempest. We're going to fix it all. All right. All right. My apologies. It's bound to come to this eventually. Don't worry about it. We have to put a stop to both the law of life and the heretic hunt. Yeah. We we're, we're won't let Lucius and the Pope get away with this. Right. Let's find an inn and hammer out a plan. Right. Oh Always gotta God, go to Aria, an end. Is it time yet? Arya, are you doing your are you doing your betrayal, girl? Wait. Oh. You seem really hesitant. Are you doing is it betrayal time, girl? Oh, that's true, because this is her hometown. Is it? Is oh, it you not? mean Janna. Janna, yeah. The place we're I thought you meant where we are right now is like I thought no, Janna was her no, hometown. I mean, the place we're gonna go murder people. Where she I just overheard Forrest say, we'll kill the Pope if we have to. I fundamentally believe that we are going to come out of this inn and uh, fucking her boyfriend, uh, Alfred or whatever his name is, is going to be standing there. Like, we've been tracking you the whole time because Ari's been <laughs> telling us. Oh, fuck. I fundamentally believe that's what's about to happen. Yeah. Or we're going to arrive in Janna and like you know, get off the ship and he's going to be like, all right, arresting time. I think you're right, though. Okay, I don't yeah. know about any of these things. Where is the saving place in this town? Is it over here? I feel like we found it before. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I remember a saving place in here. It wasn't here. It's going to be the last door I go in. Yep. This is the inn. So this is like the place I'm supposed to be, I think. Yeah, but we need to find the safe spot first. Is it inside? A building or is it outside? Been in all the buildings now. Did you go into that second room in the Oh wait, can you go into that second room in the inn? Oh, maybe it is in there. Yes, but it's not in here. Nope, that is the girl who needs us to help her, but <laughs> Right, we never really did that, did we? Yeah, we didn't, but it's fine. Sure, she's, sure she's fine. I fucking told you. I fucking- I, I- what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Claire, what did I say? I have the fucking- do Ooh! Arya. Where is she going in the middle of the night? This doesn't bode well. Oh no. Betrayal of lovers. Betrayal of Lovers. Oh! They're going into the desert desert. Yeah, she's just like out there. Yeah. Albert, you're here, aren't you? It's me, oh. Arya. God damn. What did I say? What did I fucking say? Do you think they're siblings? No, they're in a relationship for sure. That's oh. absolutely what's been implied. Um, 
What did I? Oh, yeah, I remember his voice. Okay, okay, okay. How are things going? Was there a patient in Loras? No, there were no patients there. Unfortunate. And what of the Lycanth uprising? They've changed their minds about the attack. Janna is safe. Well done. But it would, be, would probably be best to cleanse Loris of Lycanth. We've let them run free for long enough. It's time we eliminate them. That includes Caius and his friends. What are you saying, Albert? What's the problem, Haria? That village is full of Lycanth, including your traveling companions. With them out of the way, nothing will stand between us and the patients. True power will be mine at last. I refuse to settle for leading a few night brigades. But why? Caius and the others haven't done anything wrong. It was fine to let them run free when they were just picking fights with the Pope. But the situation has changed. The royal knights are after the patients now. I have to secure the patients before they fall into the king's hands. But why should they have to die? I don't understand the question. The mere existence of Lycanth is a sin. They should be grateful they were allowed to live as long as they did. No, you're wrong. Albert, open your eyes. What happened to the kind Albert I grew up with? Please come back to me. When we were children, you were kinder and gentler than anyone. That wasn't kindness, Arya. It was cowardice. Weakness. I was a terrified child that trembled in the face of the mighty. But no more. I understand now that as long as I have power, I have nothing to fear. Do you understand, Arya? This is almost over. We will eliminate the Lycanth and then the Pope. He will be executed for the crime of summoning the spots. Then all that remains is the throne. I will become king. I will make you queen or empress, whatever you prefer. Albert. You're no longer the Albert I once knew, are you? Arya, do you remember our childhood? Remember the days we spent cowering from the ogres in the unforgiving frozen north? We attack Loris at dawn. Your job is done. Leave Loris immediately. I don't want to lose, to be lose my best spy in the attack. Arya. I suspected you were the one leaking information to him. Vilkis, how long have you been there? Just the whole conversation. Just standing there and fucking no one cares. It's really good. <laughs> the sandstorm, it, it's just how... Yeah, yeah, Albert is just like, you know what? I don't give a shit. Well, no, Albert didn't see him because of the sandstorm, of course, you see. Of course. Right, of course, of course, of course you see. Of course. From Fuck. the start. Something seemed off, so I followed you. I'm sorry. I grew up with Albert. I've been telling him everything. Albert was the one who told me to contact Caius and Rubia and Janna. And it's my fault the Black Knights were always on our trail. I don't expect you to forgive me for what I've done. But I hope you'll believe me when I say I'm sorry. That makes it better, I guess. Once we're done. Mm -hmm. Do you intend to abandon us and run away like he told you to? No. I have no intention of aiding or obeying Albert anymore. I want to tell the others everything and beg for another chance to fight by your sides. You're betraying your childhood friend. Are you okay with that? Yes. He's no longer the Albert I once knew. I realized something as I was watching Caius. I want to do whatever I can to help him in his struggle with the hand fate dealt him. I've never had the courage to face my own fate. I thought it was impossible. But I was wrong. If there's something or someone you truly want to protect, a little thing like fate can't stand in your way. 
I'm going to fight my fate. I'm going to fight to protect my precious friends. I understand. If you're that determined, I'll trust you. Thank you, Tilkus. I'm really glad to have met you. <laughs> I, okay. So much to say. I feel like we should oh. end here at the most insane moment. Oh god, we, we have, have to have more conversations. Of course we have to get through all this. We'll get through all the combos. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Everyone, Arya has something important to tell you. What's up? What happened, Arya? The Black Knights are going to attack Laris. They're after us and Thal's group. Are you sure? How do you know that? Arya... Did you... There's no doubt the Black Knights are coming. I know because I'm the one who told Albert our location. No way. Why would you do that? I can't believe it. You were a spy for the Black Knights all along. Yes. The reason Albert was able to track us this far was because of the information I gave him. I am truly sorry. I see. I thought it was strange. He was always a step ahead of us. Now it all makes sense. But why would you decide to reveal that now? Because Albert intends to kill you this time. I can no longer stand by and watch him kill innocent people for the sake of his ambitions. I can't take it anymore. Uh, Kaius, do you think we should believe her? She might be lying to us. She isn't lying. I overheard Arya's secret meeting with Albert. Albert definitely said he's attacking at dawn. You're letting your feelings for Arya cloud your judgment. Ugh. It's her fault all the bad stuff happened to us, right? How are we supposed to just believe her now? Rubia certainly has a point, but... If there's even a chance of an attack at dawn, we need to be prepared for it. There's not enough time for us to get all the villagers to safety. And on top of that, we have to avoid letting Thols find out, or he might do something reckless. Hold on. What is wrong with all of you? What about dealing with Arya? Rubia, that's enough. Arya didn't run away. She came back to warn us of the danger. If she really wanted to betray us, she'd be long gone by now. I know you know that too, Rubia. Arya was certainly betraying us. But she also saved us countless times. Right? This isn't fair. You're all making me look like the bad guy. I like Arya too. That's why this is so hard. Arya. Tell us the truth. Can we really trust you? Yes, you can. Rubia, thank you. I know I don't have the right to ask this, but please let me fight by your side again. Of course. That's going to be hardest on you, because it means you're betraying Albert. I'm prepared for the I'm prepared for that. Let's hurry outside the village and ambush the Black Knights. We can't let Thols find out about the attack. Oh I, my okay, god. I, I, god. I, I don't just... think we can save here. We I couldn't find the save spot, remember? Yeah, I guess we can't. I guess you should wait. We can't go outside the village because that'll trigger. Yeah. I Yeah, I'm like looking for the save spot. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. Uh, God. Yeah, I have no idea where the save spot is. You keep looking while we talk about how. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, obviously we all knew this was coming. She was betraying, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But you see, this time, he wants to kill us. Unlike the last times. Where when he, he tried was, to kill us. Where? <laughs> uh-huh. This time, he told her ahead of time, that right. explicitly, that he wanted to kill us. Right. I am losing my fucking uh. mind <laughs> at this. Because, okay, the first thing to me is... If a, if a spy oh. was revealed to be a spy, 
but she keep kept but she wanted to keep spying on you do you know what she would do <laughs> she would tell you yeah i was a spy but i've changed guys and yeah. i i'm not gonna spy on you anymore i want to fight alongside you ideally right behind you where <laughs> so that no one stabs you in the back <laughs> <laughs> Like it's the most transparent shit. Like there's I... there's no way that Tilkus doesn't know that that meeting was staged. I mean, that meeting. I don't know that that meeting. It, was it wasn't. It almost. It was not. The game's writing is not good enough for that. But right. Like, but Tilkus doesn't know that. Right. <laughs> Tilkus doesn't know the writing of this game is awful. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I am just losing it. I like. Uh, okay. Claire, what do you what do you think of all this? I think it's so funny how Ruvia yeah. is the one who is like, wait a second, we're gonna trust her. Ignore that I basically betrayed you like thirty minutes ago, but uh, mm -hmm. fuck fuck her, right? Everyone, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. And everyone acts like she's being ridiculous. Oh, uh, like like I really I really thought they were gonna touch on that. It was like Ruvia, like you know, second chances. Like, this group gives everyone second chances. No, mm -hmm. nothing about that. Nothing about that. Also, just like, yeah, I know. I, like, she oh. says very... The, the things that she says are so reasonable. <laughs> and they all act <laughs> like she's an idiot. Right, right. She basically says the thing that I said, which is like, well, if she's betrayed us before, how do we know this is not just part of her plan to continue betraying us? And then, like... No, she's changed. <laughs> ask I... her. Ask her, Ruby. Right. She's ask, changed. Ask her. <laughs> she said she said she's nice. Can you dis can you prove that she's not? Hmm? hmm? She said she's nice. Now we're on the same side here, you know? Like <laughs> Right. I don't said like, that before, but I'll go with whatever the last person told me. No one in this game has short of memory. <laughs> For real. Oh, I think I have to go to the field so that we can save, and we're gonna have to get through this next cutscene. Maybe it'll be like we have to step forward before it does it. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'd love if that were true. Yeah, didn't think so. Well, we're gonna be here for a sec, because this is definitely gonna be like a whole fight. Yeah. I'm shocked that there was no save point in that town. Yeah, that's like, really weird. It, right? Yeah, I don't know. Well, well, if it isn't our rebels. Arya, turned traitor, have you? I've decided to fight for what I believe in. Call off your attack right now, or you'll regret it. Oh, so you intend to stop us then? Fascinating. I want to see you try. Go! Well, at, at least the dialogue was short. Yeah, now, but... You're gonna have to do a whole fight. That's fine. It's yeah. just for. It's like these guys, you know, they're fine. Hey, when was the last time you saved, just hypothetically? Mm, way too long ago. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm Forest. Why am I Forest? Hmm. Oh, Weird. I'm like not Ari. Oh, it's because Arya fucking left the team and then came back. Technically, except she never did. That's super weird. Yeah, though this fight is not actually that hard. I really okay. hope I don't regret saying that. Well, there's going to be another one. Yeah, I know. Damn. This axe is just absolutely destroying them. All right, I think we're doing good so far. No. Ooh, Tempest mm -hmm. Strike. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, there hasn't been a Tempest yet. Impressive. Very well, face my unbridled power. The bell tolls for thee. <laughs> I decided to translate it better. Yeah, than yeah, yeah, uh-huh. 
All right. Uh... Come on. Move, Forrest, go up. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. Oh my god. I I cannot move. Uh oh. Please, somebody die. Uh oh. This is not good. I did not think the NPCs would just do this. Okay. All right. Okay. The good thing I have a ton of healing items. Um. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Ruby is actually using first aid. Hey, Ruby, you learned how to be a, a healer. Good job. Hell yeah. Now I don't need Arya ever again. Yeah. Neither does the game, because her plot's for sure done. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Caius is just fine over there. I'm dealing with the, like, ads, and Caius is just taking the boss. Mm-hmm. Fucking cheers. Alright, here we go. Oh. No. I want... No. Wait. Oh, I keep using the wrong item. Wait, is Lemon not... Oh, fuck. It's the better HP one. Oh, okay. I can't even use an item with you now. I kept using that thinking it was the TP one. I was like, I need to use TP. Mm-hmm. I'm so close, though. You're so close. We're nearly done. With this section of whatever this encounter is, because there's for sure going to be more dialogue, because Albert's for sure not dead. Christ. Oh my god. Um, Albert. Also, Rubia, get away. God. Uh, Rubia, you don't have to be this close. R Rubia, you don't have to be this close. Kill! Killing Rubia! Killing. She's just standing really close and healing. Killing oh, Rubia! You got this! Go off! God. Rubia. I I thought you were good for a second. She wants doing some healing. Oh my god. I'm trying to like push her. Okay. I'm gonna get Caius to use a pineapple on me. And Rubia to use. Okay, Rubia can't do anything right now. So. Okay. There we go. All right. Huh. What an eventful comboist. Everyone got comboist. I realized we could have made a save state. Yeah, we could have, but it's fine. How could I lose? No, I knew this would happen from the beginning. Oh, yeah. How I could uh, I hope to rule the world when I couldn't even control you. Albert. Aria. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I didn't like him. <laughs> End of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was prepared for this. This was how he lived his life. Albert was born into a family of knights that was crushed by the king. 
I'm sure that's why he was so desperate to gain power. In the end, he was burned by the flames of his old am own ambition. Arya, are you ready? He wasn't... Yes. Let's go. Fuck. Well, I hope he's happy in hell. Not that anyone <laughs> asked me! I'll be Burns! Motherfucker. Farewell, Albert. Brutal. Man just gets buried in sand. <laughs> Farewell to the past, indeed. Nice. All right. Time to save. We're good. We're still not out of the fucking desert, but it's it's right there. It's so close. We just gotta. It's turn so around close. Next time. We'll be next there. Next time. Not next week. For sure, not next week. This time. Um, back yeah, we're we're the week off next afterwards. week. Yeah, but so we'll be back on April sixth. We sure will. Yeah. And looking forward to whatever fucking nightmare this it is next time. Let hey, Albert's dead. Let's all be let's, let's all be happy pope. about that. Yeah, that's true. Let's all be happy about that. But yeah, let's go kill the pope. First, we kill a knight. Then we kill a priest. Then we kill a pope. This is the Holy Trinity. I believe they call that advancing <laughs> in the world. Uh-huh. All right. Good night, everyone. Good night.